Welcome to Master Duel Progression Series. In this series, we'll be opening one box of packs from the past each episode according to their release date. After opening a total of 24 packs, we create a deck from the pulled cards and take them to free online games in Master Duel. Each week, we will advance one pack and get cards to upgrade our deck and maybe even change our whole deck altogether. For every loss, we're allowed to pull one extra pack from the next pack opening we do and for an unlikely win, we get to pull one master pack which can drastically change change how we build our deck entirely. Now without further ado, let's get dueling. What's poppin YouTube and welcome to the progression series. In this series, we're gonna start by opening the first ever pack that was released and then go in chronological order, building our decks to play online in Master Duel. We'll obviously be starting with Legend of the Blue Eyes, which was released in 8th March 2002. Now the thing is, since I'm a loner and I don't have anyone to do this with, I'm gonna take these decks to Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel online. Now the problem with that is everyone is playing modern standard Yu-Gi-Oh! So we don't have much of a chance to win. And if somehow we win, we will open one master pack from the Master Duel shop. And being able to add anything into our old decks is going to keep this interesting. But that's on the off chance that we somehow win. Let's get this started. So we'll be opening one box of Legend of Blue Eyes this episode. And then we're going to be starting to make our decks. Now here's the first pack. We're looking for anything with higher attack and just spell cards, equip cards, trap cards that will actually benefit us in the long run would be great. So let's start with our first pack opening. All right, Chrome, Mystical Moon. Oh God, I already see how bad this is gonna be. Aquamador is good at 2000 defense. That's a good wall to start off with. Two pronged attack, that's a good trap card. I mean, it's, it's an, it was a good card back in the day. Fish is really good. That's a great pull, to be honest. Uh, that's going to help us a lot in online casual matches against people with modern decks. Wasteland is another raise attack defense. These equip cards are going to be goaded for most of the packs coming forward. Beast Fangs, another equip card. Solgeng, another field card. We got our first effect card of Reaper of the Cards. This card is good, so as it allows us to get rid of trap cards on the field. Grave the Gogol is kind of like a called by the Grave, but it's... It's not a quick spell card. The only card that I can say is really good right now for modern format is Fisher. Fisher is going to help us a lot. And now we continue Steel Logo Grotto. Raigeki is goaded. Pot of Greed we pulled, but unfortunately we can't use because it's banned in Master Duel. If some of these cards are banned in Master Duel, we're not allowed to use them. So we're just going to keep going. Uh, remove Trap is good. Sogen again. Two pronged attack again and Dark Magician ultra rare. So Dark Magician is kind of our boss monster right now. I would have preferred blue eyes. Flame Ghost, it's pointless. Why would you fusion into a 1000 attack monster? Inflict 500 damage to your opponent. We're gonna take whatever we can to win. Silver Bow and Arrow, another equip card. We're getting a lot of equip cards, which is basically the idea. Another Raigeki, Mystical Elf, another good solid wall for our deck. 2000 defense. The left arm of the Forbidden One and another pot of greed. Unfortunately, imagine we get a full set of Exodia. Why why wouldn't we put that in? Hane Hane is really good. I kind of need more Hane Hanes in my deck. Red Medicine, Basic Insect, Dark King of the Abyss. Another Hane Hane, that's really good. Oh, Giant Soldier of Stone, another defense monster. But we haven't gotten any high attack monsters that, sh that could actually end the game. And then here is our last pack. We got another Raigeki, so three Raigekis. We got a set of Raigekis. These are our pools for today. We have Dark Magician coming in as our boss monster at 2,500. Blue Eyes would have been better, but we're going to have to go for the Dark Magician. We're not going to be playing Exodia. We don't have that many cards that could actually cause damage to our opponents, which is kind of worrying. But these are the cards that we pulled. We're going to make a deck out of these and see what we could do. I'll see you in the deck build. And we're back with our deck. This is what it's looking like right now. While I was building this deck, I realized how bad our pulls were. And I'm not looking to actually go into this. We don't really have 
too much going on for this deck apart from the dark magician who's at level seven i don't even know how we're gonna summon the skull red bird is like our highest attack monster so we have a few like follow wins to increase his attack we've got wasteland and mountain as well to increase some of the attacks of our monsters it's not looking too great because the pools were really really shabby and it was really hard to make a decent viable deck but it is what it is a loss is a loss we get to open more packs next time and we'll just keep upgrading it if we lose if we don't great the reason why i went for one raigeki is mainly because it's a ur i do not want to craft another ur when it's probably going to get replaced later on anyway and it's not too much of a big deal like having another raigeki is not going to make us win a game against the modern format of Yu-Gi-Oh. so here we go let's take this deck into a casual match and see how we fare against people um change decks give me the ygo progression series select deck and yeah, here we go. We're going to go into three games each episode and see how we do. Remember, each loss is an extra pack for the next set. And the win is a master pack from the Master Duel Shop. All right, Big Ben K. You might have a real easy time <laughs> going up, up against this deck, my guy. Okay, game one. Let's go. I mean, we, we drew Dark Magician first turn. Um, but... <laughs> We, we can't really combo into anything. It's a set and pass turn. So we're going to keep our Skullbird as the highest attack. And we're just going to set a card and pass our turn to Big Benkei. I mean, we only have one of Dark Magician as well. So if we even manage to summon Dark Magician, being able to use it is another thing. So let's see what our opponent is playing. Hopefully we could get a similar matchup. I highly doubt it. Uh, Cyber Dragons. Yep. This isn't looking too great. Uh, 2,600. He's already passed my highest level monster, which is the Dark Magician. Listen, Big Benke, you don't even need to do all this. Your Cyber Dragon is enough to destroy me already. I guess he's just trying to learn the combos. Cyber Dragon Suga. Okay, now that's two monsters that's bigger than my boss monster. It's a shame we didn't pull blue eyes. I don't like I done a I done two tests before recording and I pulled blue eyes on both. And then the one where we went for the actual episode, we only get Dark Magician. Cyber and Dragon. Four thousand attack. There is no way I'm out in it. Eight thousand five hundred with everything else. Um, it's an OTK. So that's the first OTK of the day. Uh, we continue. Battle phase. No, my guy, you don't need to do that. Do it the other way around. Trust me. Oh, wait. You can target one machine for this rest of the turn. Oh, and he does inf <laughs> Did he wonder? Why am I attacking a <laughs> bee? Well, that's one extra pack for next opening. And we go into game two. That was quick. That was a one turn OTK. I will be going second. Thank you very much. I'd rather react to the opponent and not get OTK'd second turn. Because most of my first turns are just going to be set and pass. Skull Red Bird again. Two pronged attack. It takes three turns to use that card. Twilight Ninja Shingetsu. Okay. Sets one back row. Possession is destroyed. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. End phase. Okay, we have Skull Red Bird. That could beat it. And if we could just draw a... Oh, okay. It's a face-up trap card, though. That doesn't really do anything. If it was a face-down trap card, that would be goaded. Are you going to activate your trap card? Oh, yeah, you are. My guy, you have no idea. <laughs> I am not going to special summon. <laughs> but sure. At least I got to use remove trap. Like, that's, that's a dub. That's a dub. And we got 50 life points down from our second opponent. Would you look at that? Not like I have an Ash Blossom to Ash Blossom you. Strike Ninja. All right, and then we end turn. We got our first life points down. 50 life points of our opponent. We got him down to 7,950. I think that's a great feat in its own. The fight, Skull Redbird is my boss monster right now. Like, there's nothing to do apart from hope that my opponent bricks. 
the chosen there's really nothing to think about here just play anything and you'll probably beat me breathe onto the board and you should be able to beat me <laughs> we have to savor these moments that we're actually winning oh there we go striker ninja already he doesn't even have to do anything he can just attack and he gets rid of my boss monster I didn't get to pull any equip cards we're still in the game we're still in the game we we we, we stay positive there's only a difference of 100 life points at the moment. <laughs> Damn, his deck, his deck is really struggling as well. Like, my one is is just Yu-Gi-Oh, my guy. Nothing I play here is going to be any good. So we're going to set <laughs> a card. And then we're going to also set two-pronged attack to scare him. That's what we're doing. What upstart goblin ninja? Oh no, that's upstart golden ninja. Okay. Into an Xyz Blade Armor Ninja. Oh, a Mirror Force right now would have been so good. And it inflicts battle damage. Oh no, wait, this inflicts um, piercing damage. Okay, this is going downhill now. Now Raigeki would be goaded, not gonna lie. Oh, Soldier of Stone, that's not gonna help. Uh, where's all my spell cards, man? What are these draws? End turn. Bro, why are you still taking so long? Have you not seen the deck I am playing? You just literally destroyed two of my cards. One was Skull Redbird and the other was Dark King of the Abyss. Like, I used Remove Trap, bro. Like, this was my boss monster. I don't understand why you're struggling so much. Okay, now, now what are you doing? Why? Why did you tribute summon into defense position when you could have ended the... Do it in your main phase too. Sure, I guess. Let's -a go. And he's only going to gain 300. So he's going to be 1,500. Um, sure. Oh, wait. <laughs> do we? Do we do this? Sure, fuck it. Fuck it, we ball. We might as well use it since we have it. And there we go. What was that? Why did he do that? So that's what he was planning to do. End phase. I mean, we're getting, we're getting some combos in. We were able to play two pronged attack and I have no idea how or why, but this is this is where the fun is in this game, you know? Yay. Yay. Okay, well, it's not too bad. I have I have Fire Yaru that beats it. I have cards that actually beat the opponent's cards. It looks like we're gonna actually reduce more life points. A mountain. A mountain, dragon wing beast, and thunder monsters. Yeah, about that. I don't have that. Go fire Yaru. Battle position. Attack the opponent. That's 200 more life points. Can we reduce it below 7,000? Highly doubt it. Can we reduce it below 7,500? Is the actual question. If he bricks, right now, him bricking would be amazing. The thing is, if I was not to play Panda last turn and play like Beast Beaver Warrior or Fire Yoru and use two pronged attack. Without using my panda, I could have played panda now, used beast fangs, got it to 1,500 attack and done like 200 more damage. <laughs> you know, he set a card. Oh, we have a game in our hands. Oh, no, never mind. When your opponent activates a monster effect, <laughs> good luck. <laughs> good luck, my guy. There is no way. Have you seen my deck? Have you seen my hand? There's no way I'm activating an effect. I only have honey honey as an effect monster and Reaper of the cards. Like, there's no way I'm activating an effect. Am I like countering his deck so much with this, with this vanilla deck? I mean, he's most likely still gonna beat me, but cause I'm not gonna activate effects, he's not gonna be able to flip that up. Okay, there we go. There we go. And he's going into a tribute summon. Amazing, the battle ninja. Okay, there we go. Opponent activates a card or effect, that's not happening. So he's just going to keep attacking directly. Um, yeah. It was good while it lasted. A Raigeki right now would be so clutch. Come on, you can't script this. Come on, Raigeki. Well, that's GG, no? Just going to set and he's going to attack directly. I'll let him I'll let him kill us all. We managed to get his life points down by 250 life points. I think that's a huge victory for us. So much that we could open a master. Nah, I'm kidding. It's fine. Bro, you could literally attack directly. What are you waiting for? Ain't no one got time. Oh. Okay. Bro, you're doing extra things. You don't need to do these things. Finally. There we go. God, that took so long. That's our second loss for this episode. 
it was expected we we've, we've got 250 life points down though that's huge and let's go into our third and final battle with this deck and see if we could pull a master pack maybe a scoop a disconnect you know these type of things i'm going to count because i am in a huge disadvantage right now we'll be going second fisher's good and yeah, okay can't even get rid of that card another fire yaru we set we set pass yep there we go stand by Faisal. main Faisal. subterra nemesis warrior okay and subterra guru what are you gonna do let's see ah ah no don't stop turning it face down i have a fisher why are you turning it face down brother uh no nah, i don't want to give my hand away if, it, if i get to draw a dark magician yep there's four set cards four back row and three in his hand he flips one monster and then he's gonna add another card to his hand when your opponent activates a card effect again i have no card effects to activate battle face spirit of the harp actually came in through oh no no it didn't uh activate one of these effects what are you doing Ah, oh, come on that's ridiculous and did he just turn it back face down again he just used it and then turned it back face down okay sure 1600 I should make it that if I inflict damage, I get a reward. <laughs> Good for you. Well, if you guys were wondering how a how a vanilla deck would be in modern Yu-Gi-Oh, this is a this isn't even against the uh, meta decks or like even the normal decks of Yu-Gi-Oh. These are people trying out new decks, and this is how bad it is. I mean, not like we were expecting anything more, but it is what it is. It is what it is. And Faisal, the one game where we get Fissure in our hand, we can't even play because he keeps having face down monsters. Battle phase, let's attack this guy. I don't think I, I don't beat him. Why are you activating effects? There's no point in activating effects. You're just gonna, okay, yeah, sure. But like, okay, good for you. For the sake of keeping this episode short, we are going to scoop this last game because it is what it is. Like, obviously, we're not going to beat him. Um, that's three losses out of three. So next pack opening, we get to open three extra packs. I don't think that's going to be enough either, but there is some few cards like Mirror Force and stuff that we can actually get from that deck. Hope you enjoyed this content. If you have any suggestions on how to improve this, like I know that in the progression series, you play against like someone that's opened the same pack. But since I haven't got any friends that do Yu-Gi-Oh, I ain't been able to do it. So instead, we're taking it to Master Duel. A lot of yapping. But yeah, if you've enjoyed this content, um, leave a comment down below if you think if you come up with ideas to make this series better or like more enjoyable to watch until we actually get competitive in the game. Um, but yeah, that was it. Hope to catch you guys on the next episode where we open Metal Raiders. And yeah, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. All those beautiful things that you do to support your homeboy. And take it easy. Peace out. Kai logging out.